you will hear an expert on survival describe a snow cave. Now, obviously, you need to keep your body temperature up, which means avoiding very cold air. As you probably know, cold air sinks, so see where the lowest part of the cave is, where it's a bit deeper. That's where the cold air is going to remain. It won't be able to escape into the rest of the cave, so of course it's not where you're going to sleep. There are other items you can use to keep as warm as possible. If you have something like a thick ski jacket or a backpack, these would be ideal for pushing into the narrow space towards the bottom of your tunnel. That's the oval shape you can see. This will help prevent the wind or any more snow from blowing into the cave. You might think it would be a better idea to wear the coat, but it's much better to use it to block the wind. What can you do to make sure that the snow melts more slowly and there aren't so many drips falling on your head? You can see that on the left-hand side of the diagram, towards the back of the cave, that the wall is curved and there are no pieces of ice or snow that stick out. Try to build and keep the walls like this. Of course, it depends on the tools and equipment that you have with you, but yes, do try and keep them smooth.